Welcome to Math We Know. Calculate seventy-seven, then times seventy-eight, then times seventy-nine in one minute without calculators. How can you solve this question? Okay, use our brain and our hands. Do it. Seventy-seven, then times seventy-eight, then times seventy-nine. I think our first reactions are this seventy-nine. It can be written as eighty then minus one. So do it. And then I have a question. What about the first number, seventy-seven? It's also a good-looking number, isn't it? It can be written as eleven then times seven. And the second number, I think, is not so good because it's seventy-eight. Seventy-eight. I don't know if you know that or. You can factor on it. It can be written as thirteen, then times six. So if you can figure out this, you are a genius. Actually, it is not easy to figure out this. And then seventy-nine. It is eighty, then minus one. It is not difficult to figure out it. Our second step is do some changes. Okay, I think this eleven is very very good because it's a prime number. Ah,、uh, just kidding, because it is very useful. Eleven, then times, and now I separate these two numbers from seventy-seven, and I separate these two from seventy-eight, and now. I'm gonna do. I would like to let them be together. Seven and thirteen. Let them be together. It's ninety-one. Oh, it's not a very good number, is it? Then times eighty, the minus one. And I would like to let the six be together with this. That is, let him jump into the bracket. And the bracket is still here. Eighty then times six. It is eight then times six is forty-eight, and then put a zero here and then minus six. Okay, the bracket is still here. The next step, you know, how to do it? How to do this? I've told you that eleven is a very good number because it is ten then plus one. So only because of this. It becomes a nice number, and it can be written as ten and then plus one, and then times ninety-one, and this calculated. It is four hundred seventy-four. We do the next step together. Ten then plus one, bracket then times ninety one then times four hundred seventy four. Okay, I'm gonna do. I would like to put this ninety one into the bracket. Let this, let it jump into the bracket. The bracket is still here. Don't forget. And then times four seven four. Now our work is to calculate this, the number. Which in the bracket, nine hundred ten then plus ninety one is one thousand and one, and then times four hundred seventy four. Then one thousand and one is a very lucky number because it can be regarded as one thousand. Then add one times. Four seven four. One thousand then times four hundred seventy four is four seven four, and we just add three zeros, and then plus one times itself it is itself. You see three zeros and three digits, and we can get the final answer. It is four seven four four seven four. Did you get it? And. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe me, ring the bell, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.
subscribe my channel and for more videos.